Not that I'm expecting any flames, but I'll just focus that on, on the board so you can see the flames when they appear. Uh, I mean, non-flames when they don't appear. So we'll just try it with a uh, video, keyboard, and power. I won't connect any peripherals such as hard drives or floppy drives yet. We'll just see if it boots. And power. I have connected the speaker, so we should hear a chime. We heard a chime. There's been no flames yet. No flames is definitely encouraging. Come on, we need video though. Test that RAM. Still no video. I wonder if the PRAM battery's okay. That might have been too quick. Hmm, the lack of flames indicates the polarity is correct on all of them, which is good. And we have video. Which is great news. Not so good news for that PRAM battery, which I suspect might be just a little under 3 volts. So I'm going to check that right now. Of course, if we don't get a reading less than 3 volts... Mm. That would be annoying. One volt! No wonder I wasn't getting any video. <laughs> oh, there's another battery just here. 3.6, perfect, we'll use that one instead. Now these lithium batteries, they don't explode very often, but when they do, they destroy everything in their path. I reckon they're worse than uh, the old NICADs. So now we've got a good battery in, let's make sure we get video first boot. Cool. Let's start connecting in things. And by things I mean all the floppy drives and hoodoo gurus. Look at that board flex. That's got to be good. Oh, forgot how easy it was to connect in things. All right, let's hope for no explosions. The chime is nice, but booting up in video would be awesome.
Or random restart. That's cool. Yeah. Actually, I've noticed it does that. Did that before I replaced the capacitors on the other main board as well. I'm wondering if that's something to do with the, the PRAM being completely reset by the removal of the PRAM battery. Or if it's something to do with this uh, SCSI card reader. Hmm. All valid questions. Let's uh, let's get this booted up. Have a go at uh, oh. We'll try a sound-based game just to see how the sound sounds now with uh, with uh, no electrolytic capacitors. Actually, do I have Maniac or Munchies on here? Mac Identifier. Good, I do have Maniac. Sounds pretty good to me. Let's get some uh, audio out going. Except I just lost a cable down the back of the entertainment unit. That is going to be really difficult to retrieve. Ah, uh, take 10. Whoa, it's Maniac. It's stereo. I like it. Shall we give it a go? Let's give it a go. Can you dig it? keyboard for this I think Spout! 
Love this game. Love this game on a machine that works properly. Oh god, bonus round. Be the quickest I've ever completed the bonus round. Oh, this is my favorite song Free Fall. You'll notice I used a bonus there to freeze them. That's what all those little things are on the side. You hit space bar after eating so many dots. And I nearly run into one. Scary. Like this song, Blade Runner. I thought I could cut him off. I could not cut him off. to the thing, I'm running out of time. Oh no. Uh oh. Oh, harsh. So what does that tell us? That tells us I'm incredibly good at this game. Wow, that is a high score. 86, 700, 86,000 points. Probably the furthest I've ever gone. And you got to watch it. So, there you go. Don't be scared, replace your capacitors. Replace them before they leak everywhere. These were, uh, these particular ones I've used were purchased off uh, Farnell or Element 14, as they call themselves over here now. Um, don't have a brand, but they're Case D 47 microfarad 25 volt, which was uh, derated. They were 16 volt electrolytic. So we've moved it up to 25 volt just to decrease the chance of failure, uh, which is good. Case D apparently, about a decade ago now, used to have issues with the larger cases. They'd have uh, earlier failure rates. But, at the same time, using a higher voltage decreases the chance of failure much more significantly. It's the same as you'd uh, derate a uh, the temperature on electrolytic capacitors, you go from 85 to 110, 120, whatever's available. They're cheap, so you do it. 
Uh, whereas in this case, um, voltage derating is just as essential as temperature and has, if not a greater effect than temperature derating would do. Um, tantalums or tantalums tend to have uh, much better temperature ratings as well. I think these ones were something like uh, 55 degrees minus C Celsius to something like 120. Maybe more. I know they can go up to 150. But you start paying a bit extra then, although these were expensive. But it was for a good cause. This machine will never fail now. Ever. It just can't. I mean, it can. I won't let it. Thanks for watching. Hope you learned something. And uh, don't forget to uh, get your copy of Maniac online uh, for your classic Mac. Fantastic game. Kids will love it. Teaches you words as well and also how to chase after a rainbow lemon. I don't know if that's much of a lesson in itself, but thanks for watching and uh, don't forget to subscribe, retrojunkie.net for more. Subscribe button.